Hey guys, I hope everything's going okay as far as setting up these pennant squares and doing that with all the, the dragon worksheet. Um, I want to go over this with you guys and then I didn't expect to not be at school. So I should be there, I should be back tomorrow and if there's any questions you can ask me, ask me then. Everything right now is going to be a participation type grade and then we will get one that's for a grade once I'm there and make sure that everybody's okay. Um, so let's get this started. So setting up a Punnett square, just once again, making sure that you guys are comfortable and okay with this. And if you are, then great. But I want to make sure that you are because we are going to get into more advanced genetics. So if you feel like this is super easy, then that is amazing because then we will be able to move on. So the first step is establish the genotype of each parent, which means what letters do they have? Like here, do they have a capital and a lowercase? Is it two capitals or maybe two lowercases? Step two is place one parent genotype across the top and place the other across the side. Place the other on the side, which is step three I just talked about. And then number four is fill in the pennant square. Now, when you guys are doing this and you will turn this into me on Google Classroom, Look, you can just type right into this. Now, do not go into presentation mode. If you go into presentation mode, it will not let you type into that, okay? So make sure you stay out of presentation mode. All right, so I'm just going to type in capital R, little r. I'm bringing across and down. You guys are going to do that for each block, okay? I'm just going to do this one with you. So then I'm looking here, and it says that no cross between a round seed, a round plant. So I know round is dominant and wrinkled is recessive because the wrinkled is when I have two lowercase. So they want to know how many are round. Well, one, two, three, four. So all four of these are round. And I have a zero that are lowercase, lowercase. Okay, so step five is identify the phenotypes and their proportions. And that's what I just did. Now, I could have said um, 100%. Sometimes I use percents here instead of 100% and 0%, and that would have been fine also. All right, so then you'll go on to the next slide, and it says show a cross between two heterozygous round plants. So you really need to look at yesterday's work and see what does heterozygous mean. Look at that worksheet you filled out. Use your computer. Use your resources. All right. So you're going to go through and you're going to establish the parent's genotypes. What does heterozygous mean? You'll type it in right here for mom, type it in right there for dad, and then you are going to set up this Punnett square. Once again, you can type all of these right here. Like if I want to put an R there, I can type there. And I can fill in the box. Um, then I can determine the, the ratios there. All right. And you're going to go through and do that for each one of these problems. Right, so each one guides you. Now, this one's a little bit different because it wants you to tell. It wants you to say, like, if you have two capital W's, what is the phenotype? What's the physical appearance? Well, two capital W's, for example, it says a heterozygous yellow. As soon as I see heterozygous, that's a capital. So that capital must mean that yellow is dominant. So anytime I see a capital, I know it's going to be dominant. Okay, so I'd type yellow in there. Same thing with this one. Here, this is going to be, you do all the work without me walking you through those steps, okay? And then lastly, it says for your next assignment, uh, assignment you're going to be doing this simple genetics problem worksheet. So I've got this. Click on the one that is on Google Classroom. Now, you can uh, go on, ooh, here we go. You can either do this on Google Classroom or the sub has the worksheet that you can use also. But if you go on Google Classroom, then you will... Let me do something here real quick. Sorry. When you go on Google Classroom and you get yours, this is what's going to happen. You'll be able to type in here. So like for two capitals, that's homozygous. I could type that in there. All right, you can type into all these boxes. So you can turn this in online to me, or you can get a paper copy from the sub and do it that way also. Either way is fine with me. All right, guys, so then you're just going to walk through. You're going to do these problems once again. This is participation, but make sure you're trying because you are going to, this is practice. You're going to be getting one 
when I come back and make sure everybody's okay, you're going to be getting one that is for a grade. All right? If you have any questions, let me know, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.